How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, letting you know which games we're going to be losing from PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium on September 17th, so four weeks from now. First up, we've got Alien Isolation. This is a 4 out of 10 for difficulty and around 25 hours or so to finish everything, so it's super doable in the time you've got left. You'll have to do two playthroughs for this, including one on hard, so be aware of that. Next, we've got Cloud Punk. This is a 3 out of 10 for difficulty and only around 10 hours or so to finish everything, so you could do this in a weekend without much issue. Next, we've got Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. This is a 4 out of 10 for difficulty and around 60 hours or so to finish everything. And be aware, there are some online trophies, so you might want to grab a boosting partner for this one. Next, we've got Horizon Forbidden West. This is a 4 out of 10 for difficulty and around 40 hours or so to finish everything, so super doable for an open world game like this. Next, we've got Marvel's Midnight Suns. This is a 4 out of 10 for difficulty and around 50 hours or so to finish everything. You'll have to do two playthroughs for this, so be aware of that. Next, we've got Near Replicant. This is a 4 out of 10 for difficulty and around 50 hours or so to finish everything. You'll have to do four playthroughs for this, so be aware of that. But you can play on whatever difficulty you want, so that helps. Next, we've got Spirit Fairer Farewell Edition. This is only a 2 out of 10 for difficulty and around 35 hours or so to finish everything. If you don't save Scum, you'll have to do an extra half of a playthrough, otherwise you'll be good with just one. Finally, we've got five different Star Ocean games. Integrity and Faithlessness, The Divine Force, First Departure R, The Last Hope, and Till the End of Time. These range from a 4 to a 6 out of 10 for difficulty. The Divine Force and First Departure R are pretty doable at 60 and 50 hours or so to finish everything respectively, while Integrity and Faithlessness and Till the End of Time are around 100 hours or so to finish everything, and The Last Hope is a whopping 500 hours or so to finish everything. So if you didn't get started on that already, you're probably not getting that one done. All right, that'll do it for me though, everybody. It's never a fun video to make, but I figured I'd let you know what you'll be losing in a few weeks, just in case you want to go for any of these Platinums while you still can. If you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could leave a like, comment down below which of these games you're most bummed about losing, and subscribe to the channel for more PlayStation Plus news and trophy hunting content.